Why are you being it? Why are you acting like Chill out, so I don't know. Why are you moving it? Yeah? Oh! <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> What's he got there, bro? Crossfit's on the menu tonight. Crossfit diet. Brownies. Doing it again. What's up? Quick fast. Quick fast. <laughs> oh, fucking sick. Quick <laughs> 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 fast. No, no, no. <laughs> Probably just run off. Alright, let's go. Went swimming for sure. Huh? You went swimming. There's no slides open today, they're all right. How do you feel about that, Taz? <laughs> no, no slides open today. No slides? What the hell? Let's change it. How do you feel about that? Should we go into that baby area on the right? Thank you. Do you want me to come in? You? No slides, bro. Quick maths, yeah? Sure. Get a band first so you can sort that out later. Where's my battery? Why have you just pressed record? This hill, man. What is that? Any chance, Nike? Fucking. Any chance, Nike? <laughs> no, I mean, Metcon 3 is even those Metcon 4s now, but yeah. So, what we have here is me attempting to over squat. Obviously, I'm not, I did it. But, um, unfortunately, it's um, over squatting. Didn't go well today. As you see there, I'm not really sitting down into the squat. I'm doing well, but for me, overhead squatting is not my strong point. I need to get better overhead stability. So having the bar above my head and be able to at all sorts of Olympic lifts. Snatching this also helps with snatching. So obviously, in a snatch, you're from deadlifting the bar for four. Good bar path and then straight into getting the bar above your head, being able to stabilize it. Obviously, you want a better snatch, you have to be good at overhead squatting. Then this next set is um, 45 kg. I was doing pause sets of um, three reps. So I was attempting to do five sets of three. I think I did, yeah, I did 45 three sets. Two sets, sorry. 41 for my first one. Three second pause at the bottom. I did two sets of 45, and then after this, I went to five. Five minutes, yeah. So I didn't go well. So I thought. I've got pretty annoyed at that, so I've been 
I'm still, yeah, I'm still up the way. I was like, forget this, I'm going extra, I'm going up the way. Went up to 50 kg for free. First rep. After that, oh, I did two reps actually. I thought I only did one. It wasn't as good. I need to really sit down into a squat, falling back. Just being able to stabilize the bar when it's above my head. So all we all using your shoulder stabilizing muscles. So I enjoy it, but like it's a weakness for me. So obviously, if something's a weakness, you got to work on it. And I've not really done over squats as much. I did two reps there. My arms are shaking like crazy. Yeah, I didn't go for another one. After that, I went into back squat, 85% of my max, at 160 kg. Three reps, five by three, three reps, 160 kg. I remember a long time ago, this was a struggle for me. I was about to before that was a warm up, did about two reps. This is 160 kg. I remember a long time ago, 140 for three was a really struggle. I think one of my first, first leg day videos, if you look back, 140 for three reps, I think I did it. 10 by 3 and 8 by 3 Well that day I did 5 by 3 from 85% of my target max. Form's looking okay. Depth not as good there, but I think yeah this set was my probably my worst set as far as form was going, depth, everything like that. But I went through. I've not really squat heavy as well. Not sacked it off, it's Reese doing so. Yeah, in between my sets, we were messing about as well, so that kind of, I just like to enjoy stuff. And after that, I went into a power creep, uh, to a um, barbell complex. So I did two hand cleans, well, power hand cleans. So that moment, I can't do full cleans, like squat cleans. I did two hand cleans, then one full clean. So a hand clean is when you start from around above or just below your knees. And a full clean starting from the floor all the way up into a normal clean. What are you doing then, bro? <laughs> chilling, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I got to the toilet for like what, one minute and he's just chilling. Yeah, yeah. See that dedication and hard work? This guy's got pure dedication and hard work, yeah. Look at you, he's still resting, look at him. It's supposed to be a deal for this guy. So I went to a hand clean complex. Complex. I did 90 kg for sets of three. Is that nine? That's 80. Yeah, this is warm up, sorry. Just getting used to it. Yeah, this is my 90 kg hand clean. From your knees, boom. Went straight into a full clean. Starting from the floor. It's good to mix it up. So I'm obviously doing more limp lifting now, as you can see from the video. Went, so I had to down the way to 90 kg again. Which I also put what I was supposed to. I was feeling good on 90 kg, so I tried, tried to go up a little bounce there. I don't think you can actually do that, but I just thought I just couldn't be asked to keep holding it. Not that I couldn't be asked, but I just thought oh, it's going to be easy to just bounce it, which is not very smart. Five. Next one into glute ham raises. 
three, yeah, with three sets of six. I've not done this for a long time, that's why I really struggle. So when I'm on top of my glute ham raises, I do like three sets of eight, three sets of ten. And I, haven't, I haven't done it for like a few weeks, so I just thought, why not today? The uh, session today wasn't that much, but the hand clean complex was quite taxing. And straight into Swiss ball medicine book there, I think they Swiss balls or whatever bolster balls, whatever they are. No bolster balls are half of them. So, all tossed against the wall. Just generating, generating power from the floor. Using cross stabilization and generating power to push you with the ball into the wall. Doing it, the same thing, glute ham raises. Three sets of six. Glute ham raises for the glutes, hamstring, and stabilizing, being able to control the eccentric part of the movement. Which is hard to implement into a more seal like lower body day workouts. Then he went into med ball throws. So you start from the side, into the wall, boom. And try and get it to the same path. And then after this, we were just messing about for a bit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my first commentary. I, can, I did him a commentary for my, for my uh, video before this. Yes. And unfortunately, it didn't go through. So hopefully you enjoy this. I'm probably be doing more commentaries on my videos. It's a lot of time when I'm training. I don't want to talk to the camera for now. I mean, I'll explain what I'm doing. I just want to do it and then I can like, kind of talk after. So if you enjoyed the video, this is me and Reed's messing about for a bit. Give it a like. <laughs> yeah, so if you like this video, give it a like. Comment some stuff you want me to show you, all my training kind of stuff. Kind of stuff I've done training, mobility, warming, stretching, anything like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's me. Finished. Bye. <laughs>